Hi guys, today I want to do a quick review of the CT. Uh, what we have here is a Flight Design CTSW. Um, if you're familiar with this airplane, you would know that this is one of the most recognized, if not the most popular names in the light sports category. Um, and CTSW is standing for uh, Composite Technology. Uh, short wing uh, is what the SW stands for. Uh, now today's review is going to be more from you know the point of view of a new student pilot uh, because you know some more experienced pilots might have a different opinion about this airplane. But yeah, this this airplane is definitely well loved in the in the uh, aviation community, um, and like I said, it's one of the most popular ones in the light sports segment. And what we have here today is a 2006 model. Um, and just giving you a nice 360 uh, view here before we jump inside. Uh, and this this airplane is known for a lot of good things. You know, it's very light. It's easy to fly. Um, also affordable. Uh, and the fact that you have so many of them flying today, it's also low maintenance, and it's really really good uh, on fuel. So you get a good fuel economy with this airplane. Uh, and a lot of schools do use them for training. Um, now, my experience with it is quite different. I've flown this airplane once before, and today will be my second time flying. And I rented it today specifically so I can have it reviewed. So just a moment here, we're going to jump inside. Uh, so I, I, can, I can show you guys uh, the interior. So here we go. As you can see here, it is a two-seater. We've got your rudder pedals there, your control stick. Um, and obviously, we've got on both sides the rudders and, and the control sticks. And here we've got a basic and very simple panel cockpit. Um, on the left side here, we've got your, uh, your flight instruments here. Uh, in the middle uh, here, we've got your radios. And then on the right side, you've got your engine instruments and your circuit breakers and such. Um, also, this airplane comes equipped with a uh, with a parachute. So um, <clears throat> if you move down here, you would see uh, the the parachute pull. Here, God forbid, you find yourself in a bad situation. You 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 know you have some options. Let's put it that way for now. Um, so if we go to the middle here, uh, we've got sort of our controls uh, to control the airplane also. We've got our trim choke there, you've got your throttle there, and then you've got your, uh, your brakes uh, there. And in the middle panel here, you've also got your electric switches, uh, flaps and such. And again, it does come standard with a parachute. If you find yourself in a bad situation, you want to pull that bad boy there and hope for a safe landing. Uh, so I'm going to jump in right now. Uh, now, I'm about 5'10", 160 pounds, so I don't. I feel very comfortable in this airplane, but someone significantly bigger might find a little claustrophobic. And one downside to this airplane, at least from a student pilot, uh, it makes you work. On a fairly windy day, you're going to get tossed around quite a bit in this airplane. One, because it's very light, and also... It's not as stable as the other airplanes that I've flown. So, uh, speaking of flying, I'm going to get the instructor now, and uh, we're going to take this baby for a ride. I'll show you guys how it flies. All right.
there you have it guys hope you enjoyed watching the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe if you haven't already uh, I'll catch up with you guys later